Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Sandrock where today I am going to definitely definitely 100% upgrade this work table. It is happening today so hopefully <laughs> this should be the instructions to do it in my totally existent mailbox. Ever since I turned shadows on, everything's been taking that little bit extra to pop up and load, but it, it's fine. I don't mind. I'd prefer to see the shadows and have things take a sec to load when I come out of a house or whatever. Anyway, my research for my intermediate work table is done, and that means that we can instantly upgrade the work table. Apart from the fact that we're missing three hardwood sticks. Did I make them? I did. I made one. No! No! Ah! <laughs> uh, I'll make a little bit of bronze there. Oh, we're using power stones now, are we? Okay. Um. Yeah, just to make a load of bronze, I think. I'm going to need some copper soon. Uh, and I'm going to go on my horse. And we are going to go and chop down some hardwood and make that into hardwood sticks. There's still a couple of hardwood things over here. In fact, there's some over by the Jackmel as well. I think I only need, like, another two. So I probably need about, like... 10 hardwood or something. That's five. That is another four. Okay, I think I might need one of these trees up here. Oh, how do I even get up there? I don't even know. I don't even know how I get up there. Like this. It's actually quite a bit of hardwood over here. Dead wood. But that's uh, what turns into hardwood, so both are true. Right, that should be enough. For my beautiful intermediate work table. Ah. Yeah, whatever, whatever had its eyes on me there is gone. Right, so I need to make some hardwood sticks. Right, I want to get them as fast as I can, so I'm going to do two on this one and two on this one, and they'll be done in two minutes' time. Okay, we can wait for two minutes. Right, did I manage to get all? No, oh yes, that's the next thing I need to do. I need to go and find some sand leek seeds because we planted sand rice yesterday and not sand leeks. And sand leeks are what uh, Vivi has asked for now. I think I've got 10 days to do this, uh, if I remember rightly. Oh, I've got my bronze for Rocky as well. I'll hand that in. But um, yeah, nine days, seven hours left. So yeah, we've got like, we had basically 10 days to do it. But I've managed to somehow get the wrong plants. So I'm going to just head over to Birgie Boy and see if sand leek are something that he sells or if we need to go all the way up to the moisture farm for it. They are, but we can only get three of them. Okay, well... I could try the moisture farm as well to try and get more, because 11 are required. I mean, I could put fertilizer on them, I don't know how many... I get per, uh, does it say on them at all? How many I get per seed at all? Like... Oh, I've got 10 sand leek seeds. Um... I've got 19 sand rice from the three. Okay, I think probably if I plant a uh, nine, a uh, three by three field of that, it'll probably be enough. I don't, it doesn't probably take too many days to grow either, so I could grow a second batch if I need to. In the meantime, though, I'm kind of a bit stuck on how many commissions I can take at once. Let's keep going to 
Plant mode. Hello, do I want to have some like this? I think I do. Like I say, we can move them around. Uh, because obviously we keep... We want to keep these squares and level them up as much as possible. So what I might do is leave those there for another tea and coffee sea tree. And then do these ones if I... Hopefully I have enough uh, straw for it. And those can be for the sand leeks. We've got sand leeks, sand rice, tea and coffee at the moment. There's a lot of other things that I can plant. Lots and lots and lots of other things I can plant. So this will be fine for the moment. I may need to go see Birgie Boy for a bit more water as well. Because I'm going to need, I think, about 18 different pots of water to top this up. Or I can maybe take some out of my water tank, depending on how much I've got. Okay. Happy with that. I'm happy with how my yard's looking as well. Plenty of room for... Plenty of room for farming here. It'll take four days, so I yeah, I have room. If this isn't enough, which I believe it will be, I think I get more than one for the for these, definitely. So we need to go and get like eight more water at least from Burgess. I'll get all the water that I can get for a cheap price anyway, unless it's all expensive price water and then I'll just get eight of it. Or ten or something. Gets pricey when you start doing farming lots, doesn't it? Pricey, pricey. Market price minus 13% though, so it's not too bad. And you can always get water from Burgess and you can always get as much as you need. But it's just how much it costs. That was some horse control, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. <coughs> I'm just going to take a drink, okay? I laughed funny and something caught in my throat and you can it, it, you might have been able to tell over the last few episodes. Um I'll tell you what's been happening. I'm backlogging. I'm pushing up two a day. But I've got a friend coming soon to stay, and I'm going to want to take a few days off. So at the moment, to, to facilitate that, I'm running at four, four a day. And uh, my throat is really drying out. I'm hoping that that is all it is, and then I'm not going to be ill for my friend to come stay. That would suck. If suddenly one a day starts happening, you'll know what's happened. I've gotten ill. But for now, I'm okay. Right, so those sand rices are ready to go. Let's go find Rocky and hand in the commission for that. For that, And uh, also maybe then go and see what Elsie wants. Because Elsie wants something. Now that's Mian. Oh, the bronze plate. I need to get a Mian a bronze plate. And we'll need to go and find Elsie. Because Elsie wants something, but I don't know what it is yet. Pen wants... Um, steamed sandfish or something ridiculous. And I'm like, no, that's not happening. Where are you? Huh. Gone for a wander, have you? I see how it is, Rocky. Have your 10 bronze bars and give me 500 goals for it. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much. If you keep doing commissions, generally, your money will be quite good. And now I want to go to the Commerce Guild and see what other commissions there are today. And I want to go and see what the deal is in here as well. There's something going on in the Blue Moon Saloon, and it might not be what I think it is. What I think it is, is go get me sandfish. Voice recently suggested that we send food to the surrounding villages in Sandrock. You know, I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. 
<laughs> she really is something. I took her idea right to the church, and they said yes without hesitation. Dan B volunteered to be the delivery girl about two seconds after. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people in town are from the villages originally. You know, Burgess is, and uh, Logan's friend, Haru. Aww. Alright. Do you mean saloon part time work? Uh huh. Wheat. Okay, wheat at the end of the week. Right, okay. Uh, More planting for me! Uh, I need to go find wheat seeds then. Oh man, why do I do this to myself? <laughs> uh, ceramic gates. There's ranch part time work. Should I do that today? Like, I have kept Cooper hanging for a long time on that ranch part time work. <laughs> I've failed it so many times now. Either fail to just take it, fail to do it, whatever. Bit of a running joke at this point. But I expect I can give Amira the clay and she will love me forever. Nemo, I will try and give you a piece of jerky today. Uh, yeah, that's starting to lose its charm. Fine. You can give it a couple of times in a row, but then it's yeah, it Thank does you. start to. However, it has come to my attention that I ought not be wasting your time like this. I misunderstood what a builder is meant to do. Well, seems like your duties do not include such menial tasks. But you don't need to worry. I've spoken with Venti of Eufala Salvage. She was quite enthused to assist me in gathering clay from now on. All right, but it was never any trouble. <sighs> well, it was my mistake. The only builder I ever knew left Bonarok before even getting their license. But oh. in any case, I'm relieved you've not taken any offense. And Mira knew the Porsche builder. I love it. Thank you. Till we meet again. I probably reacted that like that way last time, and I probably also uh, yeah forgot about it then. <laughs> I'm sure I've done that quest before. Oh, like, and Mira knows the Porsche builder. Right. Okay, so uh, we need to find wheat somewhere. I don't remember whether Burgess had wheat. I'm going to go up to the moisture farm and check out their shop and see what they've got. Thing is, I don't want to have too many plots of land. I'd rather just keep a few smaller plots of land going continuously. Because A, I'll run out of space, and B, like, they won't level up well if there's too many. So what I'll probably do, I will probably take the coffee tree seeds ready, but I'll grow wheat or sand leeks or something, and then I'll put the coffee tree seeds into that spot. So, um, wheat seeds. How many did Owen want? Uh, I'll just get nine again. Oh, uh, what? Did I already... Did I get given the seeds or something? Because I seem to have 19 of them now. It's the sort of thing I probably wouldn't have checked. I would have just assumed I had to go and buy the seeds. However, I will just grow them. I'll grow all of them. I'll grow nine, and then I'll grow another nine, and then I'll grow the other one or whatever. Maybe get another eight to accompany it, I don't know. But I'll go and plant those now, and then I might need to get more water from Virgie Boy. So he wants these at the end of the week. Once these have grown, I'll plant the, the second tea and coffee tree right here. And uh, so I'll have two tree spots and two uh, crop spots. And 
So I've got like two things of water. Hurrah! I am going to have to pay so much money now for more water. I'm going to get on, on my horse in farming mode. I need to stop doing that. rocking that horse control again so yeah this water is going to be expensive so i have nine plots two to sixteen needed ow however i always have loads of money so i don't care i take commission after commission after commission after commission i am a commission queen I'm always going to have money. I'll just do more commissions. Right? Burgess will be rich now. He sold all this water for like 700 goals. Yay. I bet I'll get about 20 goals back from, from Owen for doing this quest. You watch. Um, I will get... No, I'll get 578 goals for it though. So I'll get most of what I spent on water back. And I'll have the long-term benefit of the fact that the... Sorry, I'll have the long-term benefit of the fact that I'm already levelling up all of these plots. So that's okay. And if I build the blender, I've got the thing for the blender, the, uh, the diagram for it, right? So if I went and took Cooper's part-time work, which is shoveling poo, if I went and did that, then I would have some to put in the blender and make fertilizer out of. And then I wouldn't have to pay Birgie Boy for fertilizer. So maybe that's a good thing to do. All right, Coop. We'll do your quest today, mm -hmm. okay? Pulling weeds? Yeah. Ah. Oh. All right then, we're pulling weeds. Um, that's not, that's manure, so. Is that the weeds? Oh yeah, I just have to like pull up a couple of organo plants, like two. Well, that's easy. And I got a free worm out of it. Lovely. Yeah. Right then, and I got 78 goals for picking up two pieces of <laughs> oregano off the ground. Okay. Coop, you pay well. No wonder Elsie wanted to stay at home. Right then. What are we doing for missions? I can now. Oh yeah, I had all the stuff I needed for the billboard. However, some of that might now have been used for the upgrades. Or did I even upgrade? I don't know. Ah, I think I was waiting for stuff to be made, wasn't I? Yes, I was. Okay. That's fine. Right, upgrading the table. Woohoo! Lots of bronze being made there. Should I make a few copper bars? I think, yeah, once I get more copper. Okay, we definitely need to go mining. Um, and I could go mining and also try and find the relic I need as well. That would be really cool. I'm going to make a bronze plate for Mian and hope that that is still needed. Oh, apparently we need a few bronze plates. Hmm. And some more hardwood sticks. I've got so many missions though, it's kind of getting a little bit crazy. Uh, construct the tram cart. Right, okay. I'm going to get that onto my assembly station. Either that or the blender. Let's see how easy the blender is to make.
One bronze blade. Oh, steel bars. I can't even make that yet. Okay. Fine. Steel isn't even, like, something I have yet. So we'll just make the tram carts. Then I might be able to make steel when we get over the other side of the bridge, possibly. That might be when we get steel, so that would be worth doing. Um... Flame cart. There we Let's see what I have for it. I already have bearings. I do not have copper wire. Bronze plates. Bronze frames. Okay. Copper wire. Can't even make much of that. Okay, we definitely 100% need to go mining now. Good grief. Okay, so Arvio's billboard. We are missing one hardwood stick. Can I make one hardwood stick? No. Right, in that case we have plenty of stamina at the moment. I'm going to go and get the stuff for one hardwood stick. This is why Mian wants a bronze plate all of a sudden. She's like, I need it for my tram cart. So sneaky. How much did I get? Five. Yeah, that should be enough. It would be nice if I could get the tram cart done this episode. That te like that table took ages to upgrade, unfortunately. It sometimes does with me. I don't know what it is about upgrading things. I think it's because I can't just put it there and look at it and look at what goes into it. I have to keep going in and sort of going to the upgrade section and seeing what it needs. And then I forget things. My memory just isn't that good. Right, so. Uh, talking about memory not being good, I don't remember what I'm doing. Yeah, hard with stick. One. And then we can make Arvio's billboard. I don't know what I want to... At the moment, I don't really think I want to... Um, I need to have that tracked because I've got eight days left on it. It's growing. I can't do anything else. The Blue, Blue Moon Saloon, part-time work. Three days, eight hours. Let's hope we get enough. Maybe I should get some fertilizer for it. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. I do think you get more than one per square. I'm almost certain. Because we only planted three bits of sand rice and we've got like 19 sand rice back. So I think we're okay. So next thing I want to do is... So I think those, those three at the bottom are fine. The billboard is being made. The tram cart is being made. I think it's these two I want to track. Everything else is being done. Alright, so the insulated backpack. Let's have a look at that. So I just need two pieces of rough cloth from Vivi's place, which I'll be able to get in the morning. I've got my head around everything. Time for sleep. Hopefully we can get all this sorted. My processor has no fuel. Nothing ever has any fuel. I'm going to... Um, next thing I do... I'm going to get the firepower generator from uh, Cheese Place. Okay, I've got some bronze plates now. I can give one to Mia and I probably will as well. And then I need to go and do some... Mining. Desperately. Desperately need to do mining. I'm so out of stuff. And um, we'll go in a place where the Equatorial Mount Piece 2 might pop up. If I'm lucky. Right, so the first thing I want to do this morning is to go to Fang's place. <laughs> that reminder. That reminder. How many times would I have forgotten if that hadn't been there? Thank you for the person who commented and said I should do that. It is a lifesaver. It really is. Well, not really a lifesaver. I mean, it's like I, I would still be alive without this. And in fact, in certain time, in certain places, I might actually be better off health-wise. <laughs> Which 
Which one are we gonna choose today? The brown one. It worked, it worked. What do you know? Ooh. Orchid extract to stop you getting poisoned. <laughs> nice. And we'll have a chat to Fang as well. <laughs> Fang! Who's that? Who's that? Ah! Fang! The new builder. Nice. <laughs> okay, so that went very well. Still only three, we're still only getting four points twice a week. I could get more if I came to see him and just talked to him every single day, but it's nice to have the guaranteed four points, to be honest. So probably another week or two of doing this will be up to the full heart. Then maybe at... Um, whatever it's called, not acquaintance, but associate level. Maybe at associate level, we might be able to start getting to know a little bit better. Don't know. Feeling good about where all this is going though, that I've already got a buddy. I've already got Elsie very close to being a buddy. Like Pen is really close as well. And remember, it is only seven hearts in Sound Rock, it's not 10. So it's very, very much more easy to get to full hearts. It's only something like 700 or so points that you need, which is nice. Oh, let's head by the museum quickly and pop in the... Uh... Oh, do I have it on me? Let me check. The Techno Cup. I do, I do. I've got it on me. We could have a look and see if there's any um, fossils that I've got that I could put together as well. I'm missing a piece on the camera. Missing a piece on that one. Equatorial mount. Spaceship model fish. And the monument. We don't have a full set of anything yet. But I would love to get a full set of all of these done before I move on to a new ruin at all. So it would be nice to just go in and get all the pieces of everything. And most of the time I'm missing one or two pieces. Spaceship model, I'm missing pieces. Fish fossil. The fish fossil, I gave that to Katori, but she, uh, I don't think she displayed it. Anyway, I think these I can put like small things on. So I can put my techno cup there. Oh uh, yeah, the museum's a little bit easier to donate things to now, I think. We've got quite a lot of display space. I'm gonna put my back a t-shirt in there because it's kind of I feel like that's something you should put in the museum. I don't know why. You get workshop reputation just for putting stuff in here. Little wardrobe plus twelve. What? Museum rewards. Floral casual wristbands. Item level eight. Rare. Nice, and I've got some Katori relationship from that. Oh, I need to do more in here. Definitely. 100%. And catch the bug for it, I think, a little bit. Katori's Museum. East World. Hi, Katori. I'd like to think I have a nose for business. Now, my last adventure didn't really work out, and... The one before that was even worse. But this is the time. Third time's the charm, right? Yeah, I'm gonna Go help on, you this partner. time. Right then, rough cloth from Vivi's. We'll make the backpack and the, the board for RVO. Then, I will head to the ruins and try and get the equatorial mount piece that I need. And possibly a few others. Hi Nemo! 
gift you something. Hmm. Do you like sand rice? A little bit. It's just something different to jerky, so anything different to jerky is fine because it just resets jerky a little bit. Talking about that, I'll buy some more as well. And oh, have you? Oh no, I know. I need to make the thing first. Rough cloth from Vivi's next. Rough cloth from Vivi's to them. So yeah, good to know. Uh, if you are struggling to get enough commissions to get the builder reputation up for beating Yan in your first uh, in your first season, museum pieces are useful for that. I didn't know that, but now I do. Item level twenty, explorer boots. Hmm. I can make all the desert def defender stuff. Level 25 for the rescue team stuff. And that's what I can make then. Probably have to upgrade it after that. Right then, let's go and make... Insulated backpack. And let's pick up that stick. And go and make Ario's billboard. That way I'm not going to have like quite so many... Because it's kind of doing my head in a bit how much stuff I've got to do. And how many missions I've got. And I keep sort of looking at the same old missions and seeing that they're not done yet. So... Hmm. Where's Arvio then? Up by Amira's for some reason. Maybe? Don't know. I don't even know who I'm tracking right now. I think Grace might have gone to see Mort. I could play some critters with Mort as well though. It's possible that's what she's doing. Yes, it is indeed what she's Got doing. Got that backpack for me? Hey, nice. Looks good. If the design works, the food will not only last for hours, but also arrive at its destination looking like it's fresh out of the kitchen. <laughs> you nice know, job. the more I study old world technology, the more I realize that most of their advancements came from pure laziness. Oh yeah. These takeout boxes, for example. It's just because they were too lazy to leave their house or cook. Hmm. Certainly if necessity is the mother of all invention, Laziness is the father. Or uncle. Daughter? Because necessity comes first? Cousin? <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for your help. I'll give this to Danby. They said she was more than eager to do the deliveries, and I'll be there to give her a hand when she's busy. No problem, good luck. See you later. And that was 15 Grace Reputation. Very nice. I'm gonna go and play uh, Critters with Mort. Ooh. Just because I don't see Mort very often. And it might be nice. That was just luck. It was indeed. He hasn't played an elephant yet. Ooh, a draw. Okay. Perfect there. I wonder if I get extra points for a perfect. What would you do if I played mouse? I would play cat. <sighs> you double crosser. <laughs> Elephant. Oh, victory. 
That was fun. Let's play again sometime. That perfect run was amazing. That was so good. We got a really decent amount of points with Mort for that. Like I was say, I, I'm trying to save my critters not to play them like five million times an episode. But that was super fun. Right, so now the the mission board is starting to get a bit smaller. Uh, I need to install the billboard, apparently. Is that at the railway station? Looks like it. It's pointing me over there. Let's pop that in. And just get through all of these little mini side quests, which will be quite nice. Um, I think I may have gone outside when... Inside one, it should be an outside. Yep. So that's all my this face. I wonder if there's different designs. I wonder if, like, the one with the goods on. <laughs> it's perfect. Look at the majesty. I can't bear to draw my eyes away. I look so friendly and welcoming. <laughs> it's hilarious. You're all set. Amazing. My design, your handiwork, and Pablo's finishing touches. It's absolutely perfect. People are going to start calling my shop by the stairs. You know. Ah, 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 ah. Like, everybody will be looking. Or staring. It gets less funny the more you explain. Ah, by the way, how much was Pablo's fee? 500. Ah, shoot. I forgot to tell you. Always haggle with Pablo. He expects it. It's a part of the game. Ah, done. Well, that's all right. Next time you're in that kind of situation, just think. What would Avio do? Ah, Miguel is here. I wonder what that's going to be about. Thank you anyways. I'll pay you back as soon as I can. The shop owner and the workshop owner. What are you two doing here? Not thinking of traveling somewhere, are you? With so much work to be done. Yeah, I thought you, I thought I'd go on holiday to Atara for a bit. Pasta, hello. We were just admiring this fine billboard that our friend here made. Don't draw his attention to it. An advertisement. Let me see. Yes, very nice. But you are aware that there is an application process for new constructions, are you not? No one is above the law, Arvio. In case you forgot, any construction on public property must first go through the Commerce Guild with an application fee, following which the request will be sent to City Hall, where Heidi and myself... Right, right. Application... and the fee... about that... You would do well not to interrupt me, boy. As I was saying, Heidi so works with arrogant. me, keeping oh track of goodness. zoning for new constructions. But as it turns out, to my knowledge, there is no zoning conflict here. Woo! <laughs> you know, Hulcha, the way you were talking, you made it sound like... However... Huh? There is still the matter of the application fee that you so absent-mindedly circumvented. 500 goals. Otherwise, I'm afraid the city will have to take down this very modest uh, creation All my of money yours. is gone. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. I would never dream of trying to wriggle out of paying for such a valid and clearly very necessary service. Let me just speak with my partner privately for a moment. Yeah, you have, you have As some you may money. Recall, I'm still a bit short. Also, I don't have 500 goals on me. But don't worry, I have a plan. Let's convince Miguel to keep the sign up and just give me a few days to come up with the money. Okay, got nice. That. All right. Just follow my lead. Hmm. What's there to discuss? Party. This isn't exactly what I'd call a complicated issue. Pasta. The thing is, for a little shop like mine, 500 goals is quite a hit. I don't even make that from a full day's work. Can we leave the sign up and I can pay the fee after a couple of days? I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You can see my shop from your church, can't you? And I mean, who knows? 
Maybe some tourists will see the sign and decide to hop off the train. This sign could pay for itself in a matter of days. I'll be his guarantor. Hmm. I must admit, to see you young people so united, it does fill one with hope. Fine. I suppose these laws were originally written with the intention to improve commerce in Sandrock, not hinder it. You have three days. I will inform City Hall. Wonderful. Thank you, Pasta. You're so forgiving, just like your religion tells you to be. I do so admire those who practice what they preach. Hmm. Yes. Quite. Ha! <laughs> that went well, I'd say. Thank you for your support. Within a few days, I'll have that silly fee paid for. Oh, and I'll pay you back as well. No rush on that, though. Whew! Finally, I love it when a plan comes together. Some of what I said is true, by the way. I do think this billboard will pay for itself in no time flat. All right. I'm going to speak with Jensen about when there's the most traffic so I can prepare for the crowds. Thanks again. Lovely. Oh, I've got 350 goals out of it already, so that's not too bad. Right, so that is done. Is there anything else that I want to track mission-wise? Um, no. Those are all being done, so let's just put Operation Geeglate down so I can see what I need. So it's all just copper and bronze for that. Equatorial mount piece. So I think we're going to the mines. And I'll see if I if I pick up any other relic pieces while I'm down there. Camera pieces would be really nice. But also, if I manage to get any um uh, of those uh, chips, that'd be really cool too. But I don't think chips and equatorial mounts are on the same levels as each other, so that's a bit of a shame. I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go for level eight. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna try and get down the levels and just see if I find that equatorial mount piece two on the way. Just generally, I'll just go for anything that looks like a yellow thing, or the exit, or tin or copper. Let's go back a bit there. A little bit of tin there. A little bit of copper there. It's good. As I've leveled up, it's, I'm getting so much more tin and copper and stamina and everything. It's very nice. So let's take this little copper node out um, because I may get some data disks while I'm doing it. Yeah kind of super handy and same over here you get things like niter and clay when you do that as well which is again quite useful dig through and try and find the exit here. Oh, I see. It's some stairs. I'm getting stamina back as I'm hitting, do you see? I'm getting stamina plus two every so often. And that's coming from where I took that special skill. Quite happy with that. Here's all the, the goodies. Look. Uh, old parts in a basic toolbox. Oh, Mr. Mole. Got him. <laughs> what 
do you mean? My inventory would never be full. No. It's a hundred golds a piece at the moment. Ugh. Still worth it. I don't really know what I would do otherwise. I'd be like, I would have to be more careful with my inventory than I am. But then I wouldn't be able to run around being crazy and just doing quests and being super hyper focused on all of that stuff. I'd have to really worry about things. And that's what I like about these games is that they do make it so you can just play. You don't have to worry about like as much of the organization and the sort of um, housekeeping tasks. They don't try and make that hard for you. And I appreciate that very much so. Okay. I am starting to run out of stamina. And still no equatorial mounts. And also, still no way out either. So I think I'm going to save my stamina for finding the way down rather than trying to okay, it's down 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 to get the okay uh, yeah we we can get through we can definitely get through there we are i at least managed to get a level But I think that's all I'm going to be able to do for today because I've run out of stamina. No equatorial mount. But lots and lots and lots of tin and copper to make the tram with. So we can just keep trying. Eventually I'll find it. <laughs> So now I can start to make a few like bronze bars, uh, copper, the copper wires, all that good stuff. Got quite a few data disks as well. So let's do 10 copper and 10 bronze. I would like to start upgrading these furnaces as well. And maybe making more of them too. I could maybe have like a little furnace section over here, in fact, and then have like processors and grind. I could maybe have like four recyclers and then have two processors, two grinders and the tailoring machine over there. That might work quite well. Still got room there as well. Okay, so I'm waiting for those at the moment. So what else can we do? Have we taken commissions today is the question. Uh, I've still got that sand rice one. No, sand leak one. But I don't know if I've got anything else. Have I done anything? Have I taken any commissions today? I don't even know. I might still be able to take two. Not that I can take anything too difficult though. Need to dial it back today. Let's have a look. So I haven't taken anything today. So there's a glass lens. Tanned leather. Tanned leather might be a good one. Look at our tailoring machine. However, I probably don't have the stuff for that. Uh, oh, four wooden storages. I could do that once I've got the copper for it. Yeah, let's take that. And bloodstone calls for a mirror. Yes, let's take that. Okay. They're good ones. They're good, like, level three ones. The amount of ti time I was cursing not having the bloodstone, so for <laughs> that task for Amira with the bloodstone cores. Oh! 
but I think I probably I've been mining a lot of rocks, so I probably can make that many straight away. Yeah. Four wooden storage I'll just need sixteen copper bars. But I can immediately go and hand that into a mirror. You know what I could do? Oh, this is so cheeky. But it's kind of... I think. Let's have a look. The mission um, for the 800 goals for four storages. Arvio sells storages for 152. <laughs> So then I don't need to make as many. And I could probably buy another one tomorrow as well. Oh, Macchiato, do you want a present? I don't even know what kind of present I can give you, but it's, anything is better than nothing, right? Anything is better than nothing. Would you like some fried rice? Would you like some sweet and sour sandwich? All right then. That was a plus three. That's okay. I'm trying. I'm trying here, okay? Woo! Have they got a new one, or is that is this still the same one? Thank you. No, it's still his same old song. The same old Cooper song. Right. Yeah, I'm thrashing everyone now. It is just insane. Because the, the thing is that while I was trying so hard to beat Yan, I was upgrading the workshop with all the reputation points I was getting. So now I think once you get past 2,500 rep points, that's when you upgrade. I wonder if it tells you on your builder license, like, when you actually upgrade and, and how much builder EXP and things it takes and stuff. Because I'm not sure, like, it really tells you much about when that happens. I wonder if there's any information. Let me look at my two different boards, my builder license and my home board. But if I check it... It just tells me how many stars I have. Okay. So it doesn't tell me anything about when I'm going to upgrade. Uh, home stats, pets, helpers. Doesn't tell me anything. I can just sort of I can filter by type. But that's not very helpful. Wonder if there's anything that tells me that around here. Oh, here we are. Reputation out of eight that All oh, right, okay. So it probably was two and a half thousand to get to level three. Or something along those lines. And I need to get to eight thousand reputation. Which actually probably won't take that long if I'm getting like... A hundred plus, hundred and fifty reputation a day. Probably won't take that long, and that'll be level four. I don't know if there's a level five. I don't know like what the maximum workshop level is, and I also don't know what the maximum size of workshop is either. My thoughts are that it's level four or five. I think I was level four last time around. So I think it takes a while to get to four. Okay, uh, that's a f three copper bars. Ugh. Okay, the next thing I think I want to do is go to uh, Cheese and just check what I'm researching at the moment and if I could maybe research like civil furnaces so they'll be a little bit faster and I'll make a whole bank of them. I think that might be quite useful. Everything's taking a bit of a while right now and I think I could... That's usually the time. While things are taking a while is the time to build new machines. So... We are not, again, researching anything, which is really annoying. If 
firepowered generator. I have 70 data disks. Oof. I'm going to speed it up by one day. Well, I'll probably be doing quite a bit of digging trying to find that equatorial mount. I'll probably find quite a lot of data disks when doing so. Um... I still need to do the civil grinder, recycler, I need to get an ore refinery, dew collector, civil furnace, civil processor. There was a lot for me to get, so I need to keep on top of this and expedite where possible. I am being really bad at that particularly. I should be getting the new thing and then immediately running to cheese to get a new thing. That doesn't seem to be happening. <laughs> okay, well, I've used all my stamina looking for equatorial mount pieces and didn't manage to find it. Got a load of copper, got a load of other stuff. So I'm kind of thinking that probably at this point... Um, I could try and make some more bronze plates. I am one short. I've got enough to make one. So that would be fine. And copper. I just picked up some copper. So I might have enough to make a few more copper wires. I make four. I already own two. Material requirements for the suspended. Okay, that's enough then, isn't it? And then the bronze frames are just going to take a little bit longer. So they need five bronze bars, which we are making, and then bronze rivets, which we are not making right now. I don't have the bronze for it, I don't think. I could make a bit of a bronze rivet. If I need two bronze frames, bronze frames take four rivets, so I'm going to need eight rivets total. Uh, that needs to be picked up and put down again. It's the weirdest bug ever. Let's have a quick look at my commissions. So I'm still going to make the wooden storages once I have more copper. But at the moment it does really... I'm wondering if I should take this apart. Retrieve the bearings. And make some more furnaces. And make some stone troughs for it. Why don't we make four stone troughs and then make two furnaces? Wooden sticks? Oh no! Can I make wooden sticks? Yes! Yay, my inventory's full! Yay, so good! <laughs> Need to have a good sort out of that. Okay, so that should be done. And my other furnace. Okay, so we're at we're a four furnace uh, workshop now. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking to move the recyclers over here. Okay, and then maybe put if I can fit them. the processor tables over here please bit that's so annoying okay new idea then uh, let's put the processors back there Let's move the furnaces over here 
and move the grinder tables over here where the furnaces were just so that things are a bit more accessible I know where they are they're all in the same place if I want a load of things off the furnace so I've got all a load of things off the furnace if I want things on a grinder or a processor they are over there yeah yeah that's way better okay inventory furnace Where's the second one? I definitely made two. Yeah, furnace, furnace. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put one down and then I'll find the other one. So furnace. And there's definitely another furnace. 100%. Um, somewhere in here. <laughs> somewhere in this mess of an inventory. And that's going to be a lot better. I think this is almost as many machines as I had in my full playthrough before. Which is kind of crazy. So let's do a full set of copper on this one. Oh, I've already got no fuel. Oh, I've got some had power stones. It's irritating. Let's check the fuel on everything, actually. Okay, we're getting a little bit low on types of fuel that we can use now. It won't just use wood by the seams of it, which is quite, it's actually quite good. really using the grinders and processors at the moment anyway. Doesn't that look neat and lovely? So what I'll be doing is then I'll be upgrading those to um, a civil grinder, a civil furnace each. They'll all be civil furnaces. I'll spend time on that because all the time spent on that is going to, oh, it's getting really late. I've got mail to read, but they're all replies, so I'm just going to go to bed. End the episode. Because <laughs> we we overdid it. I got I get a bit obsessed sometimes with organizing uh, the workshop. And it does take me loads of time. But when I've done it, I always feel amazing. So there we go. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.